what is up guys shitty microphone mcjugger nugget here today i am back with another video today we're going to talk about something that i wanted to talk about for a very long time but i just ignored it but then it kind of outgrew itself and it's uh it's growing a lot more it's about these channel these conspiracy channels um these channels with false information misleading people on YouTube uh, talking about things such as video games and um, about things in reality you know linking to the to the devil Illuminati and all this other bullshit you know including religion <coughs> I'm not saying religion is bullshit don't get me wrong there guys I used to be a Christian myself but now I'm an atheist but anyway let's get that out of the way today we're gonna be talking about a channel called stranger than fiction they used to be quite a big channel still is a big channel because of their clickbait and false information that they're spreading about certain type of things in the you know just just in general such as video games um, this channel caught my attention a while back I know I'm a small channel I shouldn't be talking about these channels but um, I just thought I should do a video about it because this channel um, it's quite it's kind of misleading people and a lot of people are believing that video games are really evil and they're linked to a lot of events that have transpired within the course of uh, the last decade last generation last years or everything such as 9-11 such as uh, the attack in Paris back in 2015 and all that uh, and you know they link up with the mission that was um, controversy in uh, Modern Warfare 2 was it Modern Warfare 2 or 3 about the no Russian mission they link it with um, the attack at the airport uh, back in 2015 anyway um, talking about this channel there was one video that caught that caught my attention and it was about video games they've made multiple videos about this about video games being connected and linked with Illuminati and all that stuff like um, they took Call of Duty for example and Battlefield uh, 3 was it Battlefield 3 or 4 where um, in Battlefield 3 you, had to, you were a part of the oh Battlefield Hardlines you had to fight against some terrorists in Paris that were gonna attack Paris and I think it took place in 2015 then in 2015 when it actually happened it was um, quite shocking I understand it's quite shocking but you can't really link developers with co with coincidental events because it's just a video game and it's not real life such as 9-11 like where the towers did not appear in, appear in DSX doesn't mean that they actually predicted that there's um, gonna be an event that happens with the Twin Towers no it doesn't work that way it's stranger than fiction oh, most of the information that you're talking about in your in your video was false i will tell you right now that was false such as um the animal sounds that you get in video games are actually from real life animals and um he talked about these animals being abused so that they could get these sound effects into the game which it sounds ridiculous i was laughing my ass off when i heard that when i was um watching the video i couldn't believe it like everything that i saw like in the video in all of his video most of his videos that i checked out they were quite you know it was biased it was biased opinion and a lot of people in the comment section on his videos are just like old people and stuff like that you know like old people who just believe anything that they see on the internet such as his videos because He's gonna look at my profile picture and be like, oh, this guy's satanic, he's trying to expose me and stuff like that. I'm not trying to expose anybody, I'm not trying to belittle anybody, but I'm just, tr I'm just addressing this because this issue is gonna keep going on where he uh, deludes people and stuff like that, you know, with false information, no proof whatsoever that animals have been abused to get the sound effects of the video games, movies, and the industry. I understand that there is evil in this world. I understand. I'm not saying that there's no evil or anything like that. I'm just saying that if you're going to come up with a video such as that one or any type of video, you need to come with solid facts. Obviously, he has a community behind him that believe in 100% that will post, oh, I'm sorry, I'm Muslim, I'm Jesus, whatever. Um, I'll start believing in Christ. I'm so sorry, Christ, that I've been blinded by this world. Like, you know, like, 
traumatizing people it's it's traumatizing people because you're on the internet and you're making a lot of people believe in your nonsense that you're making like that's just not how it works you can't make a lot of people believe in your nonsense without actually f with, without factual proof you need proof to sustain your your video and the information that you're giving out to people you can't just say gta 5 is um it's it's what you call it um it's 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 illuminati because a they've illuminati signs in them like okay i understand that the pyramid the the, the pyramid with the eye is uh used to represent illuminati but not every time because it's the perspective on how you see that that symbol does it actually mean that you are worshiping the devil or not because i use the eye as my logo it doesn't mean i'm satanic i do not even believe that there's a devil or is there or that there's a god i used to be christian and i used to be deluded by a lot of things such as these videos i used to watch these type of videos and i used to be deluded by them i I used to watch these type of videos as I was saying um, and I would feed into them I would I would start typing in the comment section become a keyboard warrior talking about how evil games are I even stopped quit I even stopped playing games and stuff like that I even play games less now because you know I'm I'm like in my final year of high school so I kind of need to focus more but yeah anyway he talks about celebrities being in the Illuminati does he understand that Illuminati is an organization I do not think so, but yeah, I sold their souls to the devil, like what, 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 what. You casual things that people say, casual things that people say. And one thing that I've noticed is, if you go and you check his channel, like his channel is just full of his Patreon. Like he's talking about how YouTube demonetizes his um his channel, how he demonetizes his videos and stuff like that. But if we really, if we just go and we check his Patreon right now, his Patreon, wait, let me just uh, quickly open his Patreon right now because I'm going to read to you what he wrote in his Patreon, okay? Really quickly, I'm just going to read you what he wrote in his Patreon. He wrote, why I decided to open a Patreon account. Well, as most of you already know, YouTube has become very strict with their rules. My channel has been demonetized completely, which means I no longer rely on YouTube. Almost every video I make gets deleted, copyright striked with fake claims and shadow banned. Especially if you talk about uh, chemtrails. This, this just shows how Google, YouTube and other platforms are shutting down conspiracy theorists on the internet. They don't want the truth to spread, so they're actively silencing channels, channels such as, as such with the help of AI. That's why most of the times comments get deleted or hidden. Videos rarely go viral because they mark conspiracy channels as a threat. Some of my videos get locked as private, private and uh, age restricted for no reason. And it doesn't matter if I show something graphical or not. YouTube demonetized me several months ago saying my topics are not allowed to be promoted and earn a living. I will tell you right now that you, this is utter bullshit because YouTube, what they do is they work on a system where if you have misleading information, they will, they will demonetize your channel if you have misleading information, if you're gonna mislead people. So if your channel was reported by, in, by an individual, don't blame YouTube. And wh why are you making a living off YouTube? I understand YouTube is a platform where you can make a living out of it, but then if you're gonna beg your subscribers to keep, um, like you're just gonna shove it in their face and you're just gonna use the excuse that you're a conspiracy theorist and YouTube is trying to shut you down, go get a job in real life. That's all I have to say to you. Go get a job in real life, go, Work somewhere, go make work at McDonald's, make your living and stop begging for money. If people want to donate to your Patreon and they see that, hey, this guy, yeah, I believe him and stuff like that, they will do that as they please. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not, like, this is my advice, do not, like, do not beg them and use excuses such as that one because that is really dumb, begging your um, subscribers to uh, go and uh, donate to you because why should they donate their hard-earned money as you talk about illuminati and satanist, satanistic things you want uh, the devil's materials as you know i used to be christian and people would believe that money is the devil's materials so yeah okay moving on um this is what youtube has become now promoting foolish channels that dumb down people okay they will keep promoting people that make videos that that make videos that are lower the, the youth's IQ. Users, for example, PewDiePie, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and gaming channels, and etc. 
so youtube should push your channel because seemingly what you're saying is facts it's literal facts anybody that goes by it they are literally a part of youtube scheme they are satanists they are illuminati what the fuck members they are all that they are hiding the truth as you say they are hiding the truth okay uh fake news he continues with fake news talking about cnn jimmy kimmel etc and now being promoted by youtube um bbc cnn used to get like 500 videos uh 500 views per video just a year ago that is a total lie i'm just i'm just saying that is a total lie he is fucking this is bullshit i'm so sorry i'm so sorry about my vulgar but this is this is this is utter poop okay youtube youtube's algorithm changes fake news that spread illuminati propaganda are constantly being recommended and suggested and promoted all channels that go you know how did i find this guy's channel it was recommended to me so you're trying to tell me youtube demonetized all your videos removed your videos from recommendations suggestions and all that how did i find your video how are 400,000 plus subscribers how are they able to find your channel you get more than 100k views and you're telling me that your subscriber base 100 percent of them put their notification bells on that is that is wrong that is really wrong because i'm not even subscribed to you but then i found your channel the, i found it by mistake and then i was like okay wow well, another conspiracy channel because i don't watch conspiracy videos that much but then this one caught my attention because what you're doing especially with your patreon it's really bad it's really it's not really good okay he talks about fake truthers always being promoted now fake sellout truth channels because they are not exposing what the illuminati is up to everything they do is for views there is no more freedom of speech except it gets worse stay in the lord his truth and his hood keep your head up in the sky much love for and then he he quotes a verse from romans 1 verse 20 in the bible in the scripture of the bible what the hell you want to call it um and remember you don't owe me anything but if you feel the lord has led you to help me i appreciate for doing so and also for making this channel possible deluding people once again at the side of his patreon he talks about self-sustaining living needs paying rent taxes and putting food on the table and he he says this i need to get my channel away from the reliance of youtube monetization and the only way to do this is through donations from you my viewers i'm hoping that a large number of my supporters will pledge a small amount each so that that no one feels no one f really feels a financial burden as i know times are hard for everyone at the moment i sincerely thank and okay then he thanks the people um listen this these these are his um tears whenever you donate one dollar blessed are the poor in spirit he just takes quotes pastes them on some random background and bam there you go that's your tier that's what you get for uh donating to this guy you get some verse or some quote that you can find literally anywhere on the internet you know you don't really need to pay anything or much for these quotes so i kind of had to address this because it's becoming too much it's becoming wild you know like these channels like I'll be, I'll be honest, I don't know really much about Stranger Fiction, but after watching his videos and checking the comment sections, it's, it's, it's quite disastrous. It's quite scary to see that a lot of people are, are buying into this, because if you look at his thumbnails, they are clickbait, literally clickbait. There's one with Conor McGregor, Mike Tyson, we had cocaine on his nose, um, Steph Curry with Obama, one about Michael Jackson that says just wow and then his the, the titles are really are really misleading like three weeks ago you uploaded a video this will change everything you know with get out a picture from get out and beyonce at the side it has over 800k subs i mean 800k views and you're telling me 800k 800k in your videos to build them on about i assume that this channel was created a long time ago and, and they were copyright strike because most of the videos in his video he uses a lot of footage and you know some of the footage that you use is from like movies that put copyright strikes on this on their on their um on their on their video samples and stuff like that so 
it's like he's trying to be like trying to blame youtube for doing that because i've done it myself i've used footage from other things like in my new documentary that's coming out already came out um i used uh xx extentacion uh, video from his song called moonlight and sad and youtube instantly detected that then they demonetized me uh it was the end uh, it was um the um, what do you call it the ai that youtube put up to detect um any copyrighted uh samples of videos so yeah i don't blame youtube at all it's just this person's mindset he's in denial that youtube has nothing to do with anything youtube's algorithm might have changed but blaming youtube in such a way that you're deluding people while they are watching your videos on youtube on the platform of youtube it's disgusting it's really disgusting yeah i have nothing else to say about this channel just i'm not gonna delude him or anything i might make a part two on this if this video goes well but uh any any anyhow um i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below if you guys want these type of videos me reviewing channels that are really you know out of line please do subscribe and hit that notification bell like and i will see you guys on the next one don't forget to comment though by the way peace